Hey, what's up, everybody? It's Charles, and welcome you guys to another episode of the Dreamers Pro Show, where we cover everything from sports, hot topics, classic debates, entertainment, and we'll be giving you guys a fresh perspective on things and how we see them. And today, we got a pretty interesting show for you guys. We want you guys to stick around for. So please make sure you like the video and subscribe to the channel. Now, let me get into this story here. Y'all know that I've been one of the people out there, really. Uh, you know, um, we've been one of the platforms really um, trumpeting uh, the return of Ime Odoka to have another coaching job. I felt like. Um, you know, he served as punishment and Ime did not break the law. So therefore, I don't see why he shouldn't, mean, you know, shouldn't have another coaching job. Some people have said, no, he should have a coaching job with this. I've also given my opinion on why, um, you know, it's only been him, only been him, only been him. And then they, they're not revealing the other person. But today, really, that's not what this is about. As you all know, the Brooklyn Nets fired Steve Nash about a week, ago, week or so ago because it just wasn't working out. As soon as that story broke, like as soon as that story broke, um, we immediately started to hear that Ime Udoka was going to be the next uh, coach to get that job because the, some of the struggles that the Brooklyn Nets were having, especially on the defensive side of the floor, and given what he just did with the Brooklyn, uh, with the uh, with the Boston Celtics, obviously he was a coach that that would understandably be in high demand from a basketball uh, what is it from a basketball standpoint. But what what ended up happening? The Brooklyn Nets decided that they were not going to hire Ime Udoka because they want they didn't want all of the negative press potentially uh, that may come with it. So they decided that they were going a different direction. And um, I was one of the people that said this has nothing to do with basketball. And in fact, it was that 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 position that I put out there was um, validated by Michael Wilbon when he went on ESPN during their pregame show between, the, I believe, the New York Knicks and the uh, Brooklyn Nets, where he said that this has absolutely nothing to do about basketball. It was about the, you know, trying to avert a PR disaster. So, and even at that, during that particular segment, even Stephen A. Smith said, and he did, subsequently, he came back on ESPN first take. And he even said, no, 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 I still think that the Brooklyn Nets made a mistake and they should have hired Ime Odoka for that job. Since that point, we really haven't heard anything else about it. And I thought that, well, um, I'm not actually sure if Ime Odoka is going to get another coaching job in the NBA. No one really knows. If you listen to uh, John Sally on Club Shay Shay, he basically said he doesn't think uh, that Ime Odoka is going to get another coaching opportunity in the NBA. But then this morning, while doing some research, uh, we stumbled upon an article here from FadeAwayWorld.net that suggests, you know, otherwise that suggests that Ime Odoka may in fact be a head coach in the near future. So I want to get into that article here. The article basically starts off with the headline: "Mystery Team Has Reportedly Been Gathering Intel on Ime Odoka." Former Celtics coach Ime Odoka is still up for grabs after receiving a one-year suspension from the team earlier this year. For a few days, Udoka was heavily linked to the Nets amid the departure of their own head coach. But hours after deliberation, the Nets eventually decided to move on from Udoka as their guy, citing the situation with Boston was too much baggage to carry over into this already disgruntled team. The Nets changed their course from their initial plan to hire Ime Odoka due to several factors, multiple sources with direct knowledge of the decision making told the athletic. These factors include an investigation and due diligence process by the Nets into the suspended coach taking longer than initially expected. The outcry after ward of their plan became known to public uh, to public outside and the organization in short and long term questions marks question marks around the team's ability to contend in the Eastern Conference as a result of definite suspension of Irving. The Nets began direct communication on the potential to hire Udoka 24 to 48 hours before the franchise fired Nash late uh, last Tuesday, including receiving permission from the Celtics and engaging in initial discussions, multiple sources with knowledge of the talks told The Athletic. After being spun by the Nets, fans and experts started to doubt if Ime would ever get another coaching gig in the NBA again. Unnamed team rep uh, reportedly enters the Ime Udoka hunt. Now, however, there are rumblings of a new team potentially entering the Ime Udoka sweepstakes, though the identity of the team remains unknown via Rick Bucher, a team looking to make a coaching change that isn't already dealing with a toxic environment, however, might not be as phased by the circumstances that led to Udoka suspension in Boston. In fact, one team apparently wasn't. An Eastern Conference GM declined to identify the team, but said, I know for a fact a team was gathering background intel on Ime Udoka a week after everything happened in Boston. He said, Ime was going to be uh, their guy if they fired their current head coach. 
so you heard uh what that report had to say there so what does all of this really 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 mean it means that <clears throat> some team understands this this fact if you hire Ime Odoka, what may happen is this you may hire him and then there may be an initial public outcry maybe for the first month the first two months the first or whatever but if he starts to do a good job uh with that team people are gonna forget as they always do success erases so many things right winning erases so many things and i think some team understands that including the Brooklyn Nets, by the way, who were one of the teams that were going to hire. E so wait, you're telling me that the Brooklyn Nets were going to hire Emil Udoka. They weren't aware of what happened with Emil Udoka with the Boston Celtics. Obviously, they were. But but then ultimately, they got pressured by outside um, <clears throat> voices. And ultimately, they went in a different direction. That's what happened there. Brooklyn was going to hire Ime Udoka to be their head coach. No questions about it. But what this means is that he may get another chance in the NBA right he may get another chance in the nba and to stephen a smith's point for the people saying that email doka doesn't deserve another job when the story initially broke and he said that this thing should have been kept in house stephen a smith said on espn first take i think it was the day uh that him and malika andrews had that um <clears throat> had that exchange on live tv he said he knows of plenty executives that have been in a similar situation that Emil Udoka has been in, that he that, that they ultimately got fired and they got employment in other teams. He said the only difference was this particular matter was made public. So the point I'm making is, is this the only time in NBA history that something like this has happened? Because if he's the one setting the precedent, then I can understand you saying that he should never get another coaching job, kind of. But there have been other things that have happened in the past, so why should it be different in his particular case and i think that one team in the future <clears throat> may ultimately end up taking a chance on email doka i wouldn't doubt that i think um it could possibly happen because the fact of the matter is he knows how to coach basketball i mean we have the proof of that right we saw the results with the what is it with the boston celtics a team that seemed to have plateaued under the under the leadership of Brad Stevens. He takes over the team. They go to the NBA finals and they had one of the most fantastic defenses you've seen in the NBA in the last few years. Right. So I think some uh, one team eventually is going to take um, a gamble on him. It may be a team that is just tired of losing. And they say, listen, we need a head coach that can come up, come in here and turn around this program. So that's what I think. So what I want to know from you guys is this. Number one, what do you think about this report? Number two, do you think Ime Odoka ultimately will get another coaching uh, job at the NBA? Whatever you guys think, please leave your thoughts and comments in the comment section. And we definitely catch you guys on the next show.